Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for joining us today on KYBS and the Valder BB Show. We're honored to have you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Our favorite topic, money. <laughs> You're going to talk with us about money, but we're going to put a twist on it. We're going to talk about millennials for you guys who got all those millennials in your life. <laughs> Tell me, millennials are getting older, but are they getting wiser about money? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem so. Our survey found that only a third of millennials are focused on their finances. So if you look at that from the flip side, that means millions are not paying attention to their finances right now. And that's, that's not a good stat. Okay. So most millennials, I think the survey found that they're unsatisfied with their financial situation. What do we mean by unsatisfied? Well, they, it could mean that they know that they should be saving. Like, for instance, 9 out of 10 say that savings is a top priority, but they're not actually doing it. They're not taking the steps necessary. And then also, they may not feel like they know what it takes to actually reach their financial goals. So, it, you know, what I would say is if you're in that boat, then what you need to do is start turning to your financial institution, your bank or your credit union. It's not just a place to put your money. It's a place to go to for financial education and financial resources. I'm really surprised by the findings because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the millennials tell you, you know, there's an app for saving money, you, you can, you know, there's an app for this, and it's all, a lot of it is related around money, so they know where the apps are. Yeah, but they're just not tapping into them apparently. And even just because the app is there and you, and, you, and you have it on your phone doesn't mean that you're actually putting money into a savings account, which is essentially what you need to be doing. As a matter of fact, 83% of them are not preparing for an emergency. They have no emergency fund and they're not doing the things necessary to get there. And when you talk about the need to have three to six months of a salary saved up for in, in case of an emergency, and they're not doing it, that's, a, that's also not, not great news. So what they need to do is actually, if they have an app or if they, they, the app actually belongs to their bank, they need to start doing a, a direct deposit or an automatic savings deposit right to their account on a, on a weekly, biweekly basis, however they're getting paid. So use the app, but actually start putting in money into the savings account as well. Yeah, and remember, they're making more than their parents who are baby boomers at that age. <laughs> So they've got all the advantages. Okay, what else did the survey reveal? Well, it also revealed that 72% of them are not saving for retirement. And, you know, that's, it may seem like a long time from now, but, it, but the, that's the one thing that they do have is time. Time is so valuable when it comes to saving. It doesn't mean just saving for retirement, but just even saving for, you know, a down payment on a car. So they've got a lot of time on their hands because of their age, so they need to take advantage of it because that means compounded uh, returns on their money. And also time means that there's time now for them to also learn how to be better spenders, better savers, better users of credit. It. So they need to take advantage of that one resource. Okay. Now, we, we saw what the survey said about some of their uh, uh, not-so-likable traits. We'll say that. <laughs> what do you guys say? You guys conducted the survey. What do you want to get out of this from doing the survey? Well, the, the survey actually pointed, it, it told us that there's an opportunity to, to serve up more financial education for this particular group. So what we did was we created a, created a microsite that is dedicated to financial education. And you don't have to be a member of Navy Federal to go onto this site. But this site is, is specifically for millennials. And it, it is um, something that they can go, for, if you use it, you can go from not knowing anything at all to becoming credit-wise. You can sign up for your first credit card, learn how to take the 
steps necessary to go from maybe renting if you're in that situation to maybe owning your home. So it, it, it's one of the examples that we that we that we served up as a as an opportunity for them to learn more about being financially successful. Okay, let me ask you this. Maybe you know the answer to this also, since the survey was conducted on millennials. Uh -huh. What? What, what, what age group are we talking about? Boomers are 1946 to 1964. Mm -hmm. what are, where, what, where does the millennium fall? So the, the youngest millennial right now is around 20, and the oldest millennial is probably around 35 or 36, depending. Um, so what that means is they're moving into their financial milestones, so they're like, like buying a, a house. They're, they're moving into things that are going to be ask, uh, requiring them to get into debt. So they, they're moving, they're getting older, but again, that has to come with being wiser about your finances. So they have to start learning how to get into uh, 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 loans and credit cards smartly. Okay. Now, um, uh, this will be my last question. Okay. Is there a difference between the financial habits of the military millennials and a general population millennial? Actually, yes. What we found is that uh, military millennials are on a little bit better financial footing than their counterparts in the general population. And it's mostly because uh, they are starting their careers a lot sooner, which means they're earning paychecks sooner, and that means they're having to handle money a lot sooner. So they're just growing up, financially speaking, at a faster pace than the general population. This has been so enlightening. Once again, where can my audience go and get more information? They can go to a microsite created uh, for millennials called Making Sense, and they can find it on NavyFederal.org. Thank you so much for this critical information. I hope we make a turnaround here. I do, too. we got some pretty smart millennials. Thank you <laughs> yes. so much for being my guest. Thank you. I appreciate it.